him down. Welcome guys, welcome back to Conquer Play. This is take three of me trying to record the Venetian Guard video. Yeah, take three. The last two ones are way, way too long. I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible. So we are discussing the Venetian Guard, the best way to use them and how to use them. This in this video, I'm going to explain the veterancies, the skills, and a little bit about the formation and the traits, and also the doctrine. Not to mention, if you wanna know about more about the Venetian Guards, how to use them, what to look for, and what units they can actually defeat. Just like my older videos, you can watch the next one. This that is going to be the tactic video. Also, I'm gonna have a montage, like always, I always do, of me actually playing the Vengeance Guards and having the best time of my life with them. So, Vengeance Guards come with 305 leadership. For this season, this is gonna be increased by 10 for the next season. These are special military infantry, tier 5 uh, legendary unit. They have a strength of 16. Let's get in down into the veterancy. So, I'm gonna describe the veterancy into three lines: the full complete defensive line, the complete offensive line, and the one I that is I'm actually using myself and what you can actually do and how to use them. So first of all, let's start with the complete defensive line. For defensive line, you're gonna go to complete top top line and the complete bottom line. This will allow you to have a lot of defensive skills along with this special skill which is, will allow you to knock the down enemies when you're using the sword and shield however this skill is only working at its 30 percent as it is not tuned up once but once it gets its uh, fixed you can actually use it completely however it's totally up to you if you want to take this skill or not now let's talk about our offensive line the complete offensive line provides us with the great abilities like 50 percent extra damage to all infantry and the complete uh, extra hit when each and each time you strike you will hit two enemies i mean the Vengeance guards of course but this skill one thing to remember about this skill this skill only works with the sword and shield uh sword and shield uh, of the Vengeance guards uh, they do not work actually with the and uh, their axes so it's up to you if you're actually using more axes or you're using sword and shield mode for me i'm using more axes that's why i didn't take it so let's talk about the uh, middle line actually uh for when you're going for the complete middle line you will have five points left so you might want to go for the complete top line and uh, put some points into this which is going to be really helpful for you as you can see this is a great skill so let's talk about this the one i'm using is actually the uh, complete mid and then top because i'm using more axes and these three skills provides uh, 50 percent of damage to all the three different uh, phases of the Vengeance Guards uh, and then I went for the top to get the defenses I didn't took the bottom because I'm not using plant sword and their swords and shields for the most part they're only to get the rage effect on and then I'm using the axes that's why I'm going for this skill uh, as I already mentioned this doesn't work with the axes so let's talk about the unit order the first unit order is the defensive unit order of the Vengeance Guard they uh, when you active this when you toggle active this order you have 30 percent reduced uh, movement speed and 30 percent reduced attack speed but due to that you will get 30 percent reduced damage from the enemies and additionally every time you have a successful block you will receive 30 percent extra reduction of damage by 1.4 seconds which will provide you with a 60 percent reduction effectively now this skill can be paired up with your uh, formations in order to provide them with an increased and enhanced uh, defensive capabilities Along with to mention, this skill actually works like uh, Expedition Knights or Squire's active block. So this is, yeah, you should know about that. More about this in the next video. Don't worry about it. So we have the second skill, Raging Onslaught. Before I explain this skill, I have to say, Varangian Goth also have the uh, Rage uh, meter, which will fill up, and then you will be able to use skill where you will use your axes so every time you kill an enemy hero or they receive the damage you have to listen carefully you receive damage not deal damage you receive damage and kill a hero you will get the skill so when you have this skill you have will have three phases which will activate which will be activated just like a skulls one after another during all of the three phases you have the ability to uh, knock down the enemies you will receive a two second immunity every time you uh, apply an ability 
and every uh, husk or every Venetian guard that's below 50% health will gain 20% health recovery of their max health and 50% extra damage which is why Venetian guards are so good when they're uh, about to die yeah the last stand or something whatever you call it wanna call it so uh, when you apply the raging onslaught they uh, draw their axes their their first ability will be unavailable unavailable and their sword and shield will also be unavailable during this uh, skill you will have 300 increase to all kinds of armor penetration and damages and they will uh, they will achieve a few passive abilities uh, something looking like a tornado something shit i will explain more about the passive ability in the next video because this one is going to be a short one so once you use this skill you will have the ability to use the great sweep during this skill as i already mentioned they're gonna get two seconds of immunity then you will have the second skill available close your strike where they were gonna strike down the enemies and they will in the final skill that is scatter shield when you use this skill they're gonna strike down the enemies knocking them down and after that they're gonna instantly uh, switch back to their long, long swords and shield or short sword and shield whatever you want to call them and they're gonna be come back to their safety posture so for their traits you have 10 reduced uh, leadership uh, this ranging co of conquest every time you kill a hero or you take the damage your uh, rage meter will fill up they have fireproof resist armor that means you take a very small amount of damage from the actual fire element this is the element stats uh, for the line I'm using once I'm filled up with the uh, all of these lines I will have 16,800 uh, health that I like to mention along with all the other stats that are available so without further ado let's go into doctrines so these are the doctrines that I'm actually using this is the document engine card special document that you can get from the uh, doing the quest line this is the document that you can get after you have unlocked the venture cards you get some quests from the uh, bot there's another special doctrine that you can get which will increase 10% damage for a certain skill of the engine engine card but I didn't thought that uh, that was worth it so I'm not using it it's up to you if you want to use it you can unlock it through the line quest line again too so I'm using the stalwart which provides 80 defenses I think it's a really great doctrine to use with them for the attack damage i'm using the breakthrough doctrine and this normal slashing doctrine however if you want you can also use the uh this uh, epic doctrine sword doctrine one which is going to increase the slashing and blunt damage also as you can see you can both combine the both of the slashing doctrines together if you have them uh, along with that you can use for the damage you can use siege fighter doctrine which will increase the damage by uh, another 100 so uh, and along with that you also have the race sword doctrine one if you don't have anything else you can use this to increase the block of the so uh, swords or sword and shield of the variant cards one important doctrine that i don't have that i like to mention is the iron side doctrine which will provide 150 defenses to all across for 10 seconds with the cooldown of one minute that is extremely important doctrine if you have it put it on i didn't inherit it that's why i'm not using it otherwise i would have been along with that there's one left Yes, the epic leadership. If you're one of those chat that have like 10 of these doctrines like me available and you just want to put these uh, on and use them in some three legendary warband or something, use it. It's up to you. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is going to be it for this one. Uh, if you want to know about more about the Venetian cards, their tactics, what enemies to uh, fight against and what enemies to actually avoid and their tricks and how to defeat the most meta units that's gonna be in the next video which is gonna be the tech video here it is going to be and there's also a montage which is going to be there on the right side somewhere on the screen and also there's gonna be a husker video that is going to be available in the cards so you might want to watch that too it's a great video to know about the huskers and why they made a beat actually a lot of the units so this is gonna be it for today and also I have to mention if you have any question about this game new world bless unleashed any unit that you want to know anything please put them down or ask me into the uh, comment of the latest video and i will reply as soon as i can and if you want me to make a guide on something uh, specifically please mention it mention it and i will make a guide about it and or, or i will mention it somehow so have fun and i will see you in the